there. So today I had yet another customer tell me that I looked like Katy Perry. I I really don't understand it. Um, and it's this guy that comes in all the time. He's like super swole. You know, he's got like these big ass arms. And he comes in and he gets like a protein shake with oatmeal in it. And I didn't even think he had a personality, to be honest with you. Because all he says is like, yeah. You know. He's like, he, he just seems like kind of a meathead. But he was like, you probably get this a lot. But I don't know if you know this. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy about to say to me? I was really apprehensive to hear the rest of his statement. And he's like, but you look like Katy Perry. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And he kind of was like, thought I like got mad. And he's like, well, you probably hear it a lot. That's why I know I didn't want to say it. And he's like, but it's, it's a compliment. It's not a bad thing. And I'm like, I so don't see this. He's like the, like the third customer to say this. Plus my coworker. I've never had, like, a celebrity that people tell me all the time I look like. This is the first time ever in my life that someone has told me I look like a celebrity more than once. Like, when that they had that thing on Facebook a while back, it was like, put, put your, you know, celebrity doppelganger on as your profile pic. I had no one to put up. So, I put up uh, Zoe Deschanel because I wish I looked like her because she's fucking adorable. But I guess maybe I do look like her, since apparently I look like Katy Perry, and the two of them are like, you know, long-lost twins. But I just don't get it. I'm not insulted at all. I would love to look like Katy Perry. She's gorgeous, but I don't, I don't see it. And I said, you know, I said to him, I was like, well, it's just lipstick, right? You know, because I wear my bright lipstick. And he's like, no, 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 it's in your eyes. And I was just like, okay, guy, maybe you should, uh off the roids maybe they're messing with your head but yeah so today um i was late to work because i thought i started at 6 15 no i thought i started at 6 45 apparently i started at 6 15 nobody called me though to let me know like hey where are you so i walk in like <laughs> i just like stroll in like hey good morning guys and they're like you're late I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, you were supposed to be here a half hour ago. Why didn't anyone tell me? I mean, yeah, I'm an idiot for thinking that I, you know, thinking the wrong time or whatever. Apparently I'm not the only one that's done this this week, though, because 6.45 is the usual time that that morning person comes in, but suddenly it's 6.15, so I confused a few people. But still, I don't know why they didn't call to see where I was. What if I was dead in a ditch somewhere? They didn't care. So, yeah, I was late. I hope I don't get in trouble for it. It wasn't my boss that was working, so... They didn't care at the time, but... I don't know, once she sees the punch... When she's, like, doing payroll, she's gonna get pissed off. So... Or I've already been written up for being late. I suck at waking up. Alarms don't wake me up. Like... I need some kind of alarm that, like, physically shakes me, like, with arms. Like, it has arms that come out somehow and, like, grab me by the shoulders and shake me awake. Like, you know, a crackhead with an infant. That's how I need to be woken up. Otherwise, I don't. Like, alarms, they'll wake me up for a second sometimes, but then I go right back to sleep. Or I'll turn them off in my sleep, like, before they even go off. Somehow, my subconscious knows that they're about to, you know, start ringing in my face, so I turn them off, or I change the time. I don't know. I also have conversations in my sleep. Like, not with myself, but if somebody comes in while I'm sleeping and starts talking to me, it'll appear like I'm awake and aware of what they're saying, and I'll, you know, respond. But I'm asleep. And this has happened so many times where my mom will, like, wake me up, or think she wakes me up and tell me to do something or tell me about how so, so-and-so is pregnant or whatever the hell she's telling me and then like a week later she'll mention it and I'm like, you never told me that. And she's like, yeah, I did. 
I told you last, you know, whatever, in the morning. I'm like, was I awake? It's like, I thought you were. You have to really, really make sure that I'm awake when you're talking to me because I can trick you that way. So yeah, I was late to work. So I was just like, that, plus I wasn't really feeling well. I was just like a hot damn mess all day. I was all discombobulated, dropping things. I spilled fucking hot ass coffee all over my hand. I had to like turn around away from the customers because I was about to like lose my shit. Um, what else did I do? I was just a mess. I kept like burning up. I thought I was like getting, I thought, I felt like I had a fever or something. I, I don't know. I must've been, I think I might be getting sick or something or I was sick yesterday. So maybe it was still residual, but oh my God, I thought I was going to pass out like 10 times at work. I was a mess. And of course the, the day that I'm not feeling really like functional is the day that they finally let me be on bar because I'm, I'm new so a lot of the supervisors won't let me do anything except ring at the register especially the one that I had today but today she's like I want you to get some bar experience you know since you've been working in the mornings so I don't want to tell her I'm not really feeling up to it today because I whine all the time about how they don't let me be on bar so I had to do it and oh it sucked so much. And I had some rude ass customers. As usual, there's this one chick that comes in all the time. Her name is Julie. She's a cunt. Hold on. I'm uncomfortable, so I'm switching this up. She is a big cunt. Her name's Julie. She has like her own drink. Like, she'll just write Julie on it. They know. I'm like, okay, they might know, but I don't. And I need to charge you for something stupid bitch and every single time she comes in every time she comes in it looks like they're like she's wearing headphones it looks like this you know like little earbuds but it's like a bluetooth apparently and she's talking on the phone loudly might i add very very loudly talking on the phone and it's usually something really dramatic and ridiculous that she's talking about and I'm trying to ring her up or, you know, ask for her money or whatever the hell, asking her questions, trying to figure out what the fuck she's ordering. And she's, like, getting all annoyed with me. She's always on the fucking phone. And then my boss will yell at me because I'm not connecting with the customers. You have to talk to your customer. I'm like, this bitch is on the phone 24-7. I don't think I've, I've never seen her not on the phone. She she went to the bathroom today, too. Like, she came back for her drink after going to the washroom. I don't think she even hung up the phone to do that. That's weird. Like, I've done it before with, like, I don't know, a couple of my friends that I've known since I was, like, three. I'll pee while I'm on the phone with them. Whatever. But she's ridiculous. And she's just a cunt. And I spilled, like, her drink. I mean, I didn't spill the drink. But it kind of splashed over the side when I was putting the lid on. So it was all over the side of the cup. So I doubled the cup. And, and then I didn't put a sleeve on because the cup was doubled. So you don't really need a sleeve. You know, like the, the hot sleeve thing. So I handed it to her and she's like, no sleeves. I was like, oh, I spilled. So I just doubled the cup so it wouldn't be like all sticky. And she's like, well, I need this off. And she's like trying to get the lid off. And... She got the lid off, and then she took the other cup and just kind of, like, threw it on the counter, took a sleeve, and then, like, left. And there's no whip on there, right? No, bitch, there's no whip. I can read. One time she came in and she was talking to her therapist on the phone. Really loud. I don't want to hear this crazy drama. I have enough in my own life. I don't want to hear about your shit. And like her, it's just like secondhand. Some customers will come up and like tell us their life story and all the horrible things that are going on. And some of the customers, like we care because, you know, they've gotten close over the years or whatever. Or they're just, you know, those kind of customers that you just, you know, you love them. And so whatever. Some people are just like, I don't, 
I asked you how your day was going. I didn't ask how your life was. I'm not a therapist, but they treat us like them. They treat us like bartenders, and bartenders are treated like therapists, so it's just ridiculous. Also, another stupid customer I had today was, like, screaming at me from across, like, over the espresso machine because I was making her drink, and she's like, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am, like, screaming at me because she wanted, like, extra caramel in the cup or something. You don't have to yell. If you're gonna... If you're going to say things like, excuse me, or please, or ma'am, stuff like that, like, you know, polite words, don't even bother if you're gonna scream them at me in my ear. Because it's just... kind of... I don't know, not the point, but I don't know if that made sense, but yeah, they were just, and I was a hot mess, so everything annoyed me ten times more, I wanted to punch everybody in the face, I was dizzy, and I just didn't feel good, and then our DM was in there, and so the supervisor was like not on the floor, because they were off talking to the DM, so it was like chaos. It was just it was a crazy day. But I got Taco Nazo, so that made it a lot better. Taco Nazo is the most magical place on earth. It's a taco place. Like down the street from my house. I just discovered it like I don't know, maybe last summer. It's been there forever, but I never really knew anything about it, if it was good or not. I never knew anyone that had eaten there. My friends took me there. Oh my god, it's fucking amazing. Best Mexican food other than homemade that I've ever had. Delicious. And it's not like super greasy. So good. And my friends and I have this saying, like, if you're totally exhausted and just like out of steam, out of gas, we say you're out of beans because there were these stickers at my old work that said, out of beans, question mark? And my friends just thought that was really funny. It meant, like, if you're out of beans, you know, buy some coffee. That's what it meant. But they turned it into an expression. If you're out of beans, you're just drained, you know? And so you need to restore your beans. And I definitely restored my beans at Taco Nazo today. Excellent. Uh, I think that's really all I have to say. I feel like I had something else other than the Katy Perry thing and the rude people. There's something something else that I thought was funny. Oh! Uh, not funny. Awesome. Potentially awesome. J.K. Rowling like, launched some site, I guess, that there's like a countdown. It's on YouTube, too. It's a countdown. I think there's like six more days. She's going to make some big announcement. I don't know what it is, but I'm super excited to hear because I fucking love her. I love Harry Potter. You know, I I grew up with those books. I have a Harry Potter tattoo on my back. I loved Harry Potter <laughs> with love. So I am so psyched to hear whatever she's going to announce, and it better be something ridiculously awesome. Like... Maybe she's, maybe she's pulling the, it's like publishing the encyclopedia finally, or, I don't know, some kind of other unrelated book. I don't care. It just better be awesome. I, I'm super psyched. So it's like six days, seven hours and something minutes until her announcement. So I am stoked. I don't know if anyone else is, but I can't wait. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hate when it does that. My computer thinks I want to conserve energy, but I don't. What if I want to waste energy and ruin the planet? Give me that option. It annoys me. I don't know. Because it, it, they don't give you a lot of time before it suddenly shuts the lights off. Same with my DVD player. I'll pause it to go downstairs and like get food. 
and it turns itself off by the time I get back. It's like 10 minutes, I'll be gone. And it turns it off, and then I have to find the spot that I was at. And for a while, I didn't have a remote, so I couldn't even find the spot. <laughs> so I would have to rewatch it or give up. I don't like when technology thinks that they know what I want. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm pretty much done here. If I think of anything else, I'll say it later. So, yeah. Toodles from Katy Perry. <laughs>